Hi everyone, it's Lisa and I'm back again to teach you a little bit more about the Thesis Template Editor. Today I'm going to go a little bit deeper into some of the cascading style sheet editing features. So if you click on the CSS tab up here once you're inside the Thesis Admin, you'll be taken to this page. And you can see that this page is made up of several different components. Over here we have the Skin CSS tab and the Custom CSS tab. And there's a bunch of stuff that's in the Skin CSS CSS already by default, including a bunch of lines that say and body and links and container and menu. And then over here we also have groups of what they call packages. You can see we've got a three column package that says and three calls. We've got a post box with ampersand post. We've also got ampersand body. And what you may be noticing is that this second little portion in orange corresponds to the pieces that are over here. So there's an and body here, and there's also an and body part under the packages. There's a and title under here in the packages. There's a header, header menu, container. There's the container there. So all of these little pieces that are over here are also under packages. And then below that we've also got what they call variables. And if you look at the variables, if you mouse over them, you can see the contents of the variables. These are all CSS color declarations. And then you've got things that are border colors. These are all text colors that they've defined. These are border colors and background colors. And these have to do with pixel width. So the, the width of a single item is 22 pixels. Half of that is 11 pixels. Twice a single is a double. So that's 44 pixels. And then you've also got link colors and some more border colors. And basically what they're using a variable as is so that they can keep the colors all the same so that they can change the colors by changing just what's in the variable. And then the variable is used throughout all of the rest of the packages. So let's just look at the body package and I'll explain a little bit of what's included there. So let's just click on it and we'll get this pop-up window and you can see uh, we're on the package tab and it has a name and that corresponds to the first part of the name as it's displayed there. And then the part in orange is also corresponds to the package name here that's, and I, I should really explain if we go back here, that when this style sheet is created, what we're looking at here is a bunch of placeholders. So under ampersand body, all of the CSS properties that are defined here in the body package will be included in the style sheet right where that ampersand body is. So here's some of the options. They've used one of the variables as a text color. And there's also some font settings. They're using Georgia for the font and the default weight for the body. And then of course the text color is the color that's in variable number C1. And there's also a potential to define margins and paddings and borders. And you could put in some additional CSS if you wanted something that wasn't included in the default options. Like for instance, a border radius on a box would be an example of something that's not included in the basic options. So all of that CSS for the body, when the style sheet is compiled, will be substituted into this spot in the style sheet. So if we go to the blog and we load it up and look at the source code, you can see under CSS.CSS, here are the declarations for the body. There's the color that was included as the text color in that variable. And there is the font family that was selected. And it's in the body declaration. So really what the editor is doing is just assembling a bunch of a grouping of CSS properties and then compiling them into a style sheet. Now you remember in one of the previous videos I actually created a new nav menu to go underneath the top nav menu just as an example of how you could customize your site using the thesis template editor. So this down here is the second menu that I created and you notice that it looks a lot like the first and I talked in that video about how you could use the CSS editor to change the styles so that this menu looked different from the top one. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you remember in the HTML editor, when I did that, I added the second nav menu. And you remember that I added this menu two class to the HTML classes list for this item. So the menu two class is what we need to create a CSS package for. So let's click select a package to add single element styles, add package. And I'm going to call this menu two. And I'm going to give this the menu two reference, which you remember is the ampersand that appears over here as the placeholder. So I'm going to call that menu two. CSS selector would be dot menu two. So anything that has a class of menu two applied to it, which is what our second menu will have, will have this C 
CSS properties applied to it. So then let's go into the options and let's change the background color and let's just pick a nice medium blue color as our background. And let's just save it and check what it looks like now. So what we'll want to do after we've added the package there is that we also want to add it into the CSS with a placeholder. So I need to add the menu to placeholder there and then click save and compile. So now let's go back over to the blog and let's refresh it and see what has changed. And you can see the background of the whole menu, meaning the bar, is now this blue color. But what we really want to do is we would like to change the buttons or the actual link items themselves as well so they have a different background color. So what I'm going to do to find out what else I need to change is I'm just going to right click and I'm going to click on inspect element with Firebug. Now Firebug is a browser add-on that allows you to browse through the CSS and the HTML code and make some changes without having to change the files physically on the server which makes it really easy for you to test out changes and see if they make the changes that you want. So if you look here in the code here is the outer wrapper for the second menu because you can see our menu 2 class is here and then there's a bunch of list items underneath menu 2 so we, we need to write some CSS that will also affect these list items that are underneath menu 2 so let's just go back and edit our menu 2 package by clicking on it and let's go into the additional CSS so let's just add a little bit of additional CSS to make it so that the buttons will be a different color as well and so the way the HTML is nested, we have an outer tag with a menu2 class. Then we have a list item. Each of those buttons is a list item. And then each of them contains an anchor or a, a text link. So for the menu2 list items with an anchor text link, we're going to change the background color to a different blue and the color of the text to white and then click Save and Compile CSS. That will actually save the changes into the style sheet. And now you can see that our changes have taken effect. We have a lighter colored blue with white links and then a dark blue background throughout the rest of the container. And that's really how easy it is to restyle things using the Thesis CSS editor in the template editor. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're now ready to use the CSS editor in Thesis 2. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.